What's up everybody, Racket Lord here, and welcome to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Like, like I said at the end of the original Deus Ex, I was uh, planning on getting into this pretty much right away, so I didn't want to waste time. And uh, this was a game that I was very much anticipated for, and in fact, it's the reason why I bought and started playing the original Deus Ex. You know, I thought that all the footage and the trailers from that I saw of this game looked really good, and, you know, I wanted to experienced the original since I had heard so many good things about it, but never had played it until I got excited about this game. This song, by the way, probably one of my favorite uh, video game title screen musical pieces in general of uh, recent years. I just, I just love the way it sounds. It really sets the mood for uh, the setting of the game. But either way, let's uh, start a new game. Let's not waste time. Let's get in there. Three difficulties. Pretty much easy, medium, hard. But uh, much like my playthrough of the original Deus Ex, I will be going non-lethal. And as a result, obviously, you're not going to want to uh, be doing a whole lot of fighting. So, you know, hardened enemies tougher situations. Give me Deus Ex. Sounds good enough to me. Let's do this. I love it when games make it so that you don't have to hold the key down to sprint. I love that. with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their birth rate. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board contains next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam, it's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? 
Yeah, I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Oh, damn, we have control. Alright. I sort of pre-configured my, uh... Settings and controls, so we should be good to go in that regard. You still have this. It was a gift from our first date. It was a spur of the moment purchase. A joke. Well, it works because I forgave you for picking me up in one of those. I don't know. Looks like a sweet car to me. Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. Do we? Also, like in the original playthrough of the original Deus Ex, I won't be reading through everything, just sort of looking for important stuff. Come on, but, uh, you do get, like, experience for picking up some things, but if you're interested in the lore type stuff, you know, feel free to pause and give it a read. But if I sat and read through every last bit of, you know, emails and data things, then, uh, We'd be here all day. Let's find all the usables. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David bought it for me. Being more effective? With what? Hey. Answer the phone. Where is it? I don't see it. Please. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Mac. I know, I know. Frank had told me about it, too. Yeah, man, come on. Windows L. It's not hard. And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. Hey, stop reading my emails. No. Fascinating. Oh, picture. Wow. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. The hell? Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. How the hell did I not get that achievement? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel. And I do like the look of this game. A lot of people... There, Meg, about how you found a lot of people don't like the gold filter that everything has, but uh, I like it. There's something I should know. About this place, about Sarah. Looks cool. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. Yeah. You you check on that PDOT. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. He totally is. I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading visitors must be very I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. Page Industries? We overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all Just military. another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Eddie. You almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sir nice arm. was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the open. Here, watch. Go ahead. Damn. 
a shame I'm uh, going non-lethal. I won't be able to use that. Impressive. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. You still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. <laughs> Defense contracts keep us afloat. Most badass teacher ever. That make you think faster, react quicker. They can really improve a life. You'll definitely want to do the homework in that class. <laughs> David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. Very creepy elevator camera. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plans. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam. There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Bye. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Oh man. This is the newest in that Unetco theme right there. It transmits down to our dedicated side. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for What are you looking at, Lyle? Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explained it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off that damn racket. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. All sorts of original Deus Ex references. All right, shit's going down. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Richard, where's Megan? She recording yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro chem labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard? Oh, damn. Should I bother looking at the tutorials? Yeah, I'll show you. One of them. So you can see how they work. Before you can do anything, you must be able to get around. Obviously. The first move you'll want to learn is the crouch. Oh. Uh. I like tutorials like this. It will allow you to get into small spaces such as air vents, or to hide behind low objects so you can move about unnoticed. Jumping on objects or ladders is essential for getting to those hard to reach places. Sometimes going high or low is not enough. Sometimes you just need to go fast. You'll only be able to sprint for a few seconds at a time, though. 
so use it wisely. I like tutorials like that. I think uh, Mass Effect had some sort of similar tutorials where they show a video and uh, they have somebody narrating the instructions. Those are good tutorials. You can actually see what you're uh, supposed to be doing. It's good stuff. Now, this is non-lethal. But uh, this is also a tutorial area, and in fact, I don't think the game actually counts anybody that you kill in this area as a uh, for a, like a non-lethal achievement, which I've already gotten. But if possible, I am going to attempt uh, not to kill anybody. He was already dead. That's unfortunate. Oh yes, and of course, uh, one thing that a lot of people complained about were the uh, the bosses in this game, and I agree, the bosses are not very well done, and the fact that you have to kill them is sort of a shame. But uh, yeah, press E to move obstacles, that's pretty much what that tutorial says. But uh, they got it right in the DLC mission, uh, the missing link. You know, there's a boss in there that you can... You don't have to kill him, which is good. And uh, in fact, I own the missing link, and uh, I will be giving that a playthrough after I finish up with this. So there will be even more Deus Ex action to go around. So that'll be exciting. Combat, pretty self-explanatory. You shoot people or stealth them down. Also, you can go into cover. And Jensen can magically open doors with his mind. And uh, I do like the cover system. It's a little bit weird. You expect right-click to be aimed down the sights, but it's not... Uh, take cover. But uh, it works. Alright, there's a couple of guys up there. I do not wish to be seen by them. If possible, that is. So there's him. Where's the other dude? They're apparently under the impression that I'm here. I don't know how they would know that. Alright. Got by them. Nicely, nicely. Sprint is also kind of woefully slow. Or rather, it uh, doesn't last very long. Alright, you need to turn around, my man. But yeah, if push comes to shove and I do have to kill people, it doesn't really count as a non-lethal. Which is, which is strange, because you think it would, but the game itself doesn't make it count towards the achievement, therefore I have no problem with it. There's nobody over there. Now, if that guy right there would turn around so I can leap. 
He's not going to turn around. He's going to be a douche. And just stand there. I'm talking about him. He'll definitely see me if I jump, though. Let's see. Whoa. No, I guess not. So where do I go? Looks like it's right there. That's not going to be easy. I don't know. Ooh. I wasn't sure if that other guy was turned around or not, but thankfully he wasn't. That's unfortunate. Hello, invisible lady. Open. Yes, open the door. Open it. Oh, you crazy bastard. But at least he died doing something good. Ah, they saw me. Oh man. That actually worked out to my advantage. See ya. <laughs> Yes, last known location worked out in my favor. Unfortunately for Jensen, that's pretty much the end of his good luck right now. That's just uncalled for, man. Not supposed to hit a lady. And I really like this opening title sequence. The music and everything is really good. Quite cinematic. We get to see Adam's transformation into a mechanical man. Come on, Adam. Stay with us. And like I said, the sweet music is also nice. The music in this game is general in general is good. What was he talking about that I didn't need? I love you. Haven't you lost enough people today? I'm sorry. His body can take it. But what about his mind? Yeah, Michael McCann. I was trying to remember his name. Give me the telecom package. 
But yeah, he did a damn good job with the soundtrack in this game. Oh, shit. Now the real game begins. When it loads, that is. Who the hell would name their surveillance company Big Bro? Oh damn, get ready for the most unnecessary augmentation ever. Unnecessary, but incredibly cool. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory? Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Yeah, that is one thing about the beginning of this game. You can explore the building and look around and stuff, but there's an invisible uh, timer going off in the background. We're totally got to enter the ladies' room. Sup? <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. But yeah, all these people are talking about you, and you can talk to them and stuff, but, uh... There is a hostage situation going on. And if you don't hurry up, bad things are gonna happen. So, I'm... Um, apologies if you want to see, like, explore the area, but there will be time for that later. But people's lives are at stake. It's like David said. About time? What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. What dick. Our first look at the uh, dialogue choices. And one thing I like about this game, you know, games like Mass Effect, when they they do the dialogue wheel, they pretty much just have a single word here, like ignore or confront, but what the line actually says is not what you think it says, and that's kind of annoying. In this game, they actually spell it out for you right here. But, uh, this guy's being kind of a dick right now, so let's confront him about it. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. What you talking about? I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Seraph's here is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. 
You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's funny. But yeah, oh, nice Final Fantasy. Looks like 27. 27. But yeah, Francis is being kind of a douchebag right now. But that's uh, one of the cool things that I like about this is is that their comments towards one another are more uh, mean-spirited. But as the game goes on, it sort of changes a little bit. You can tell they just sort of get a more uh, of a respect for one another as the game goes on. I kind of like that. I'm here. Guess I'll just go in. Or not. Adam Jensen, it's so good to have you back. Even if the conditions for your return aren't all that auspicious. Seraph didn't really tell me much, Athena. Just something about a break-in at the factory. How serious is it? Plenty. Some of our people were inside when it happened, working overtime. On a Saturday evening? Things have been difficult since... since we lost so many good people. Everybody's had to do extra shifts to meet deadlines. Most clients were understanding, but... not every contract can be delayed. Especially the military ones. So what am I looking at here? Well, David knows more than I do. Get to the helipad, he'll fill you in. Oh, yeah, that's right. He said he'd be at the helipad. Herpadurp! I guess my mind was in a, in a place further along in the game where you meet him in the office. But uh, we should be alright if we just head straight there. to the helipad almost there good because swat's about to turn this into a pr nightmare meet me in the chopper i'll brief you as we go okay hello frida ah, i remembered your name didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet you know how it goes malik duty calls don't i know it i was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the renaissance center when i got the 911 but you Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out, haha. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. Yeah, let's get out. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I always found it strange how he seems almost surprised that Seraph is there, even though Seraph told him that he'd be there. I don't know. Kind of weird. 